this is unique in Le Mans history that outright honours have been attempted via front wheel drive. Traditionally, race cars became rear engine, rear wheel drive for benefits of traction and packaging. We think that the putting the engine in the front of the car and driving the front wheels gives us an advantage. The reason for us going front engines is that we have a very long bonnet and that means we can maximise our surface area for downforce. We try to get as much downforce on the car as possible to make us go faster through the corners. But also you need a streamlined car so you're very efficient in a straight line. The straights at Le Mans are very long. Uh, you can gain a lot of time being a couple of miles an hour quicker than the opposition. You have extremely high speed and then you have to slow the car right down for the turns. This isn't the first time Nissan have produced a front wheel drive racing car. Behind me here we have a 97 BTCC car that absolutely wiped the field clean um, back in the late 90s. The engineers that worked on this, these guys are now on the P1 car. The main difference is with the front wheel drive is the feeling of the car in the slow speed corner. It just wants to push, push the car to the outside of the track, so you do get understeer in the car. Understeer means underachieving your steering. It's a, a special challenge that we have to overcome through innovative aerodynamics and traction control strategies. The car has a lot of intrinsic stability, the weight is far forwards. If you hit slippery conditions, you typically don't have a spin on your hands put the internal combustion engine to drive the front wheels is an innovation in racing. Of course, it's incredibly uh, common and normal, in fact, in road cars. On your normal road car, like your Nissan Juke, the engine is packaged in the front of the car, mainly for efficiency, and it's the same story with our Nissan GTR LM Nismo, for efficiency at much higher speeds. Efficiency is a big part of the race at Le Mans. That could be its strength come our 23, for instance. Front engine, front wheel drive, 550 horsepower or so. It's a very steep learning curve. We're certainly pushing on the boundaries of people's expectations and beliefs of what a Lamar car is and what can be fast. If we're right, it will show a different solution entirely can be competitive.